Imagine a natural disaster like an earthquake causing a building full of people to collapse and the people end up trapped underneath rubble. As sad as this may sound, things like this happen all across the globe. And first responders need to spend a huge amount of time simply to locate the survivors. Unfortunately, current state of centimeter scale robotics is not advanced enough to assist the first responders. I'm working towards a low cost alternative solution to centimeter scale robotics using the Madagascar hissing roach as roach bots for search and rescue. I can control the locomotion of these roach bots by applying selective electric stimulation at their antenna using implanted electrodes and an electronic backpack made with off-the-shelf components. If a stimula stimulation is applied to their right antenna, they think that there is an obstacle to their right and they turn left. In a similar manner, I can make them turn right by stimulating their left antenna. Through this mechanism, I've been able to make them follow lines, go through mazes, and with onboard microphones, even autonomously guide them to a sound source, a technique which will particularly come in helpful when responding to help call by a survivor. A sensor network of these roach bots in an unbearable scenario can be used to map the area and locate the survivors. Information shared with first responders can save crucial time. In parallel to working with a sensor network, we need to ensure that the system is reliable and prevent any failure. The research questions I'm trying to answer are how well these electrodes will perform over time under various conditions, how these electrodes will affect the roaches and how we can optimize the control of these roach bots. Toward that goal, I'm performing remote real-time assessment of the tissue electrode interface at the spot of electrode implantation using onboard circuitry. I'm performing electrochemical analysis of the interface in addition to electrode engineering. The collected data will be used to characterize the tissue electrode interface, optimize control of its roach bots, in addition to making sure that there isn't any tissue damage in the roach bots. The vision, we believe these roach bots will be able to effectively help first responders. And I truly believe our research is laying the foundation of network of bionic insects in search and rescue. Thank you.